everybody, this is me and welcome back to my channel. So today is, I don't know, <laughs> um, but yeah, so today all we are going to do is a little bit of renovating. Also, Caramel and Smokey, they don't need to be with their foals anymore. Their foals are old enough, they're starting to get bigger. We're selling two today in the vlog. Um, and yeah, so that's sad but exciting so we can make more room for new foals. I've realised Chestnut's lost his head collars. So we need to put a new one on him. You guys will know Bella's gone. Um, it's basically like an update on the place. Um, the barn has moved. Has it moved? Yeah, it's moved forward a little bit. We got a new tack room tack room and a new feed room i'm looking at it right now um a wash bay and the six horses so let me say them lady and duke are here they're not gone so jet uh <laughs> trying to remember the names jet snow trigger willow two more elvis what's the last one cash Cash. They've gone somewhere else, so you won't see them in this vlog. Not too sure if they're coming back in this vlog. Hopefully they will. But yeah, let's get on with it. But also, you've never seen Spirit, Keith and Joey be ridden. Spirit and Keith are like the young twins, but different colours and they love each other to the moon and back. They've all been introduced to the other horses. The other horses have a much bigger field now. There's no separate thing, so separate light fields shall i say um so yeah there's just one gigantic big field and then obviously the foals can go near like the barn <laughs> and yeah so let's get into to today's video but before we get into it make sure you like subscribe and tap that notification bell and you'll be notified next time i post so we're going into the barn now there's obviously no horses in because it's late summer i let them live out for a little bit so they're living out now so the stables are all nice and clean obviously they've been moved you're probably like oh they've been moved but yeah and then yeah and then and then there's just loads of jumps here because we've not been riding much because like um we're renovating we're not gonna have a separate arena Our arena will be like back here over there obviously those stables are empty as well and then over here is the wash bay but you have to go around to the back to get to, to it and then over here is tack room nice and clean where the bench is falling over and then over here is the feed room and the feed things and lots of hay and brooms and then we've also got two empty stables yay guys louie and joey have been away for a little while as you can see he's loving life um they've been away on a summer trip pony camp with someone else not us and they have just enjoyed it ever so much and yeah so they've just arrived now i couldn't film it because obviously the person didn't want me to film it privacy reasons and yeah um I was in the middle of introducing Caramel to the other horses because remember, she was in fault and the foals are now old enough so we're trying to separate them nicely and carefully and we don't want other mares that haven't really seen her yet speak. So yeah, we're going to get on with that but first these guys are going to go into their stables. The reason why they're going into their stables is because they've already had their live out season, shall I say. They'll still go out in the field but they'll get taken back in like i'll still ride the other horses that are living out now and then just take pit them back in but yeah these guys are going to be in their stable still going into the field but yeah so we'll pit them in ride on tractor go down um take charlie and the donkey and the reindeer and give them their feed and then we'll give the other horses their feed so yeah let's get on with it so here's Caramel, I'm just holding her over the fence. So, now she's actually standing up, not rolling. 
Um, yeah, so this came out. You guys will know her fault and stuff. And yeah, so obviously there's another man right here, lady. Guys, look at Joey. There's no, not Joey, Mr. Dapple, guys. Mr. Dapple. I'm trying to get him used to. There's Jasmine all the way back up there. Obviously, there's still a donkey as well. The donkeys could be feisty. Camera and cowboy. They're old little buddies, so they're like, oh, hi. But yeah, so we're going to let her off the first time. Smokey's not coming in yet. But yeah, these guys will be living out because, you know, they've been in their stable for a long time with their foals. I'm just taking her down now to her little stable. Um, I've actually forgotten which one's her. She's been gone so long. But yeah, we've reorganized. Oh my gosh, stop rolling. I know you're used to rolling in your big stable. But yeah, um, Joey, Louie's there. Joey's there. Um, I don't know where to pick Caramel. Because I want Cowboy and Caramel to be opposite. So I might put them on the ends. Because they're the oldest and those are the youngest. And they're at the end. That end. Um, no, well, they can be around the front of them. But I'm not too sure where to pick Caramel. Because, yeah. But we're keeping her in her stable for now. Just so she can stop rolling. Come on. Right, so yeah, let's put her in and we'll get back with you once we have. She's already in her stable. We chose this side, the side that has little Mr. Joey on it. But yeah, let's go down to these guys. I'm going to grab my lead and rain, my purple one that I just had with caramel. I'm going to take Lady in. Then I'm going to try and attempt to catch Chestnut. But he's probably going to run all the way to the end of the field. And yeah, I'll bring those two in. Um, Pearhead, Collar and Chestnut, Ride, Lady. And then potentially bring Charlie in for a groom. And Mr. Dapple in for a groom. And then obviously, so then I'm going to ride Keith and Spirit. So yeah, let's go on with that. The lady's here on the post, just outside the barn. And I've just been growing her and stuff, but sadly she's lost her hoof. Well, her shoes. So I've called the farrier. The farrier's on his way, ready for tomorrow. But yeah, um, so we won't be riding her today. No, why did you have to leave the shoes? I'm going to collect them from the field now. <laughs> and yeah, so I told him if there's any other horses, they'll have to be done hunter green on him yeah so the new hunter green looks very good on him actually i must admit sorry guys way too close oh i'm looking through like the tiniest hole right now but yeah he's um been a good boy um he was actually extremely hard to catch so up in the forest he was up in there because he knew i was trying to catch him and yeah we're going through the gate right now. Oh, come on, come on. It's being stiff. Ah, there we go. Okay, right, let's go in quick, 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 because Keith's right there. Keith is an expert. Let's get him out. So we're getting Charlie, so wait there. Come on, be your head up. Be your head up. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, let's put your head colour on. Yeah, and then we're going to... Wash you, okay? Okay? Okay, come on then. Let's go. Oh, look at Dinky. I've just finished Charlie. Yeah, Charlie is looking so good now. Um, I'm not going to pop him back in the field. I'm going to work him because he's gaining weight a bit quickly. And, yeah. So yeah, I think we're going to keep all the horses now on a little bit low. But yeah, he's getting lower feed now. He's not getting as hyper because look, he's trying to eat the long grass. But luckily, we've made this post so high that they can't actually reach it. As long as you put them on a short rein, that's what we've done. So yeah, you can't even reach it. So yeah, oh, why do all the horses just want to roll today? 
But yeah, let's go work him. I'm probably not going to film it because he gets really anxious. Keith is all... Yeah, so Keith is all taxed up. He's got a little bit of a mismatch rain. No, not rain. Finger Magica. Head collar, whatever you want to call it. Saddle is on. He's looking very nice and smart. His mane's very rough. Tails out. He's ready. He's a small little boy. Just being introduced to it. But yeah. Let's go. So he's jumping over this very nicely. You probably see me as well. Um, but yeah, he's jumping over it really. Oh, knocked a fence over. Just got over that one. But yeah, he is still young. I've actually broken him a little early. He is only. It could be okay to break him early. He keeps on falling over, basically. Not falling over, but like. Yeah, he's three years old. Wait, well, he's just turned three a couple of days ago. Yeah, so I only broke him around two. So he was a little bit young. He was a little bit young. Yeah. He's doing good. But yeah, we're just going around in circles with this. But yeah, so let's go a different way. Found a, found a head collar and it's broke. Lovely. Why do my head collars always break? Let's go this way. Ooh. Ooh. Good boy. So we're going to make the feeds in three, two, one. Done. So there's the feeds, all done.